way too many cars sitting here. What's up YouTube? How's everybody out there doing today? So, there's way too many cars in here. Anyways, um, what I wanted to make this little video about today was uh, the 2015 ZL1 that we had in the shop, which is uh, no longer here. It's gone. It's actually up at uh, InChain's Designs right now, getting uh, a full paint correction by True Sours. And it's also getting a full Expel wrap setup on it as well. And then it's going to be coming back here to the shop to get its brand new clutch installed and some little odds and ends stuff that uh, we need to get done to it. But uh, it should be about another day, day and a half worth of work that we need to finish up on the car. And then she is going back to the owner. So obviously I bet you guys are probably thinking, well, why is he making a video of the 2015 ZL1 that's been in the shop forever? Well, that's because it's been dynoed. It's been tuned by Jeremy Fumato of FasterProms.net. Description, his information's in it. Go check him out. And uh, he was up here Monday, which was his last day in PA. He's originally from Tampa, Florida. Great, awesome guy, personal friend of mine. Love him to death. Um, he ended up tuning the car. We got it finished up. We got the all the mechanical parts of the car installed in order for him to finish up the tune that is needed on that car and uh we have some numbers but before i get to the horsepower numbers of that car um let me tell you a little bit more about it so it was a 2015 zl1 camaro with a 6.2 liter lsa supercharged engine in it some of the mods that we did to this engine which pretty much was basically everything other than a short block to be honest with you guys um we did a lot of suspension mods to it we did a um, uh, one-piece dry shaft mod to it. Uh, it's getting drag radials installed on it as well. Uh, what else did we do? We we're doing brake lines to it, a line lock, uh, P3 gauge in the vent uh, that's going to give him all his vital information. And you guys are probably wondering what the engine modifications that we did to this car were. Um, there is a few videos from before of us doing some of the engine modifications. Um, I'll link them here or down here or down here or somewhere. There'll be somewhere where you can find them and watch that video. Um, we actually had two of them in here. We had his 2015 and we also had a convertible 2013 that has been finished and laid down some pretty sick numbers. Uh, the convertible was pretty much the same exact modifications as the 2015 that we had in the shop, with the exception that the convertible was only, uh, you know, everything except for E85. He, did, he was not running E85, he was just running a snow performance methanol uh, injection system on it. The 2015, on other hand though, is running a little bit more. So basically the mods that's running in the 2015 Camaro ZL1 is uh, Jeremy Fumato, FasterProms.net, ported heads, machine 35,000s, my uh, version B Hellraiser cam, a full four innovations fuel system with two 450 E85 compatible fuel pumps, a full Alki control dual nozzle meth kit, um, ported blower, 231 upper pulley, stock lower pulley, so keep that in mind, stock lower pulley, only pushing about 13, 14 PSI, nothing crazy. Thermal reduction plates, Cook's two inch by three inch collector long tube headers, ceramic coated with a full Cook's exhaust system. Now also keep in mind, and I was totally against this, just so you guys know, the Cook's exhaust system is the OEM catted exhaust system. So it the exhaust system does have cats in the exhaust, so it's not a free-flowing open exhaust system. It is restricted somewhat. Now, I have some video for you guys. It was a late night. I'm not going to lie to you. Me and Max were at the dyno till almost midnight in Gettysburg. It was late. We did some, some videoing of the dyno pools, and here they are.
it was a very tiring night and the the worst part about it i'll be honest with you is after we were done with the dyno at midnight we had to drive the car well we we didn't drive the car we had to we had to trailer the car all the way up to dun cannon where inchain designs is and drop it off there for the night that way he had it first thing in the morning to get ready and uh punch that thing out for the customer and get the expel wrap done to it and then it's going to a stereo shop to get a whole bunch of stereo equipment worked on you know and and new speakers and and a whole sound system put in the car in, as well so needless to say there is a lot a lot a lot of stuff being done to this uh vehicle between three different four different shops almost here and then finally she'll be coming back here obviously so we can finish her up and the customer can take final delivery of the vehicle but like i said as you guys can see the car is is still very loud even with catted connection pipes and it pulled very very strong we had no problems on the dyno which was freaking amazing to be honest because usually when a car is being put together like this and there's so many mods being done to a vehicle of this nature there's always some sort of a little hiccup or a little bit of a problem thankfully we had no problems with this car this car literally worked out really fine it it dynoed very nicely it made really amazing horsepower in, in my eyes for what it was it made great horsepower um as this is a six-speed car it's not an automatic so that's why we're putting a clutch in it obviously i'm sure you guys could tell but um basically the car put down 772 horsepower 768 foot pounds of torque at the wheels on the dyno with 12 ranging about 12 to 13 pounds of boost on the street drive on the street drive of the car it put down 13 to 14 pounds of boost which means the car is actually making more horsepower it's probably making closer to you know 790 800 you know wheel horsepower maybe a little bit more foot pounds of torque the car is an absolute monster torque on this vehicle literally and i kid you guys not torque on this vehicle comes in at 3500 rpm three to 3500 rpm is where the torque kicks in on this thing with this cam setup that we put in it and the heads and everything now keep in mind this is my version b hellraiser cam so it's my variation of the na style hellraiser cam that we offer for all of our ls cars that we work on so here's the dyno sheet of the of one of, of the last dyno pull right here As you guys can see, 700 and what, almost 60 foot-pounds of torque, basically 700 plus foot-pounds of torque at 3,500 RPM, which is just stupid. Stupid amounts of torque. Um, Max actually went out on a test drive. Max, how'd you like the test drive of the ZL1? No, this thing was insane. <laughs> it was so fast. It put you in the seat you were like, what are you doing? There you go, guys. Um, I didn't go on the test drive with Jeremy. I let Max go because he worked on it with me a lot, and, and it was it was a cool little project, one of the first projects here at the shop that he really got involved in. And um, so I let him go af after Jeremy was done tuning on the dyno. I let him go for the test drive part of the of the session out on the road. And if you guys don't know, usually, you know, if you dyno tune a car, you always, always, always have to take it out on the street to check for spark knock and everything else. Anybody that dyno tunes a car and doesn't take it out on the street, I don't, I don't know, guys. I wouldn't, I'd be a little leery about letting them touch my car. So he went out and they came back and Jeremy was informing me that 113 miles an hour, the car got squirrely. Uh, this is with stock tires, obviously. We don't have the drag radials on the car yet. We are waiting until the car is finally finished, finished 100% here back at this shop. And then the last thing we'll do for the customer is put the drag radials on. That way they don't get tore up on the dyno or anything of that nature. The other thing I want to mention here is this car only has 6,000 miles on it. It's, it's a very low mileage car it's probably going to make more horsepower you know than even on the street you know 10,000 miles down the road 15,000 miles down the road 20,000 miles down the road so the car is going to make a little bit of horsepower as it gets older and more used and broken in and stuff of that nature cook setters on another c7 z06 this one's like really pretty white though i really like this car it's really nice all right guys we're gonna end this video. 
I hope you enjoyed the few diamond pulls that we got. I know we didn't get a lot of build video of the car. We've got some build video of it, but not a whole lot. You can check back through my old videos and find those. It's uh, usually listed like twin ZL1 updates and all that other stuff because we had two of them in here at the time. Go check them out if you can find them. It's like an Easter egg hunt kind of thing, you know, go find the videos from the past. Other than that, guys, let me know what you think about the horsepower that the car put down. We, you know, personally are extremely happy with how everything worked out. It seemed to uh, make really, really good power. Very, very good street manners like usual. And uh, like I said, I mean, we're pretty happy with it. And I'm sure when the customer does finally come pick up the car, he's also going to be very, very happy with uh, the car. It's, it's obviously going to be a 800 horsepower, 800 wheel horsepower, basically street monster um, through a six speed uh, transmission. So the thing's probably going to be just a tad nuts to drive around on the road on a, on a daily. Like usual, guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Instagram, Diablo Formula Racing, Facebook, Diablo Formula Racing. There's going to be more updates coming on other cars sitting in here in the shop, especially this gray uh, Corvette right here. So keep an eye out for that. Deuces. So that's your what year? What year is your Camaro? 2010. 2010. What's all done to it, man? Uh, good size cam. Okay. Different heads. Hey, watch out for ran over. <laughs> the headers. But they what headers are they? Made for Tom Henry. Okay. What else is done? Any, like cold or anything? Exhaust three, system. Three inch exhaust all the way up from okay. Tom Henry Chevrolet. All right. Nice. What? Let's see what a horsepower put down. 484 focusing in here and 446 you pretty happy with that oh my gosh yes it's <laughs> enough for me that's because jeremy's a hell of a tuner right and oh my gosh wait do you go out for the street drive you'll probably be like oh wow this thing's like, i will tell different, right? different you will you will trust it me was running so rough rich well it's gonna be a lot better now so <laughs> a lot better that's a great color Love the color on it.